I'd like to give the floor to the leader of the group, Mr. Svoboda, for two and a half minutes. 26.5 million people are unemployed in Europe today. 9% of all Europeans live in extreme poverty. One quarter of Europeans are at risk of poverty or social exclusion. These are the problems of Europe. The freedom of movement in Europe is not a problem. It's a right, it's a pillar of the European Union. And the people don't want only a single market for goods and services. They want also a joint and common labour market. And therefore, I really deplore that some people, on, especially on very extreme right, very few are here, they could debate now the issue, but they are not here, uh, fight against this freedom of movements. We progressives, we take the concerns of our citizens seriously. I understand with the ongoing crisis where millions of people have lost their jobs, their homes, their hopes for a better future for themselves and their children, they look for answers and they look for help. But national government that allow people to be exploited, allow people to be paid below any decent income, that is the problem and they should give the answers to their citizens. They should fight against social dumping. It's much too easy to point again to Brussels who is responsible for a disaster. And if we look to the figures that have been mentioned, only 2.7% of EU citizens live in other EU countries. And that is a big problem. Yes, poverty migration is a problem, but because poverty is the problem and not because migration is the problem. There are single cases of abuse as been mentioned, but it's up to member countries to fight against it. And as I said already this morning, it's very strange that Mr. Cameron who wanted to make a big fuss about it and wanted to show the figures in the coming weeks, said, no, 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 I have to go back and we will present the figures after the European election. Mr. Cameron should just join Mr. Miliband, for example, to fight against low-paid jobs, to fight against uh, the lack of uh, qualification, and to fight for a better posting of workers directive. Ironically, those countries or those politicians who are now engaged in a frantic debate about the danger of abuse are the first who let us down when we wanted an improvement of the EU directives, especially EU directive to prevent social dumping. The debate we are witnessing is painful because it is reminiscent of a time before the European Union, a time where people and nations and minorities were singled out and attacked. I am very happy that Romanians and Bulgarians are here like many others. And I, don't, I find it particularly disgraceful now when the labour market opens for Romanian and Bulgarians that we start to think about fingerprinting and about reducing their rights. Let's have a common Europe, let's have a common labour market, because this is the only chance to have a social Europe for everybody, for Romanians and British at the same time. Thank you very much. For the Liberals now, two minutes. Renata Weber. Thank you very much. Colleagues, I would like it to be the last time that we in this European Parliament talk about